This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shirley and welcome back to my channel. Do you know the difference between original and fake Casio calculator? A genuine Casio calculator is obviously of high quality. The hard case slides on easily and the edge around the calculator is curved and smooth. Most importantly, the buttons are more sensitive when you press it and all the functions are working properly as expected. You don't want to risk getting the wrong answers for your exam, right? In this video, I'll be teaching you on how to solve questions using Casio Calculator for additional mathematics. As for the materials, I've inserted the link in the description below. You may download it and print it out for your own self-practice if you want to. For those who still haven't gotten this calculator yet, don't fret. You may still learn from this video. At the end of this video, if you wish to buy this calculator, I will show you how to buy it from Shopee Casio Official Store. Alright, let's get started. In this video, you will learn how to solve quadratic inequality, which is finding the range of values of x. Quadratic inequalities can be solved by using these three methods. Number one, graph sketching method. Number two, number line method. And number three, table method. Method one is graph sketching method. Let's look at this question. Solve the quadratic inequality x squared more than 5x plus 6 by using the graph sketching method. So first, I'm going to write down the question x squared more than 5x plus 6. Okay, and then we're going to move the two terms on the right hand side to the left. So x squared minus 5x minus 6 more than 0. Okay, and then we're going to factorize this into two brackets, more than zero. So the first term is x squared, therefore here is x and x. Okay, so now we're going to find the roots. Okay, take out your Casio calculator. We're going to press the calculator now. Okay, go to menu, press menu. And then after that, go to right, 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 until you can see the equation button. Okay, which is A. So press alpha, and then negative button, because there's an A here. And this is a polynomial, press 2. Why polynomial? Because it's x squared. Okay, so it's one line. If it's simultaneous equation, it's normally for two equations. Okay, so now this is only one. So we press polynomial, press 2, go to 2. And then the polynomial degree is 2 because the highest power is 2. Okay, x squared. So 2. Okay, so we have ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's look back at the step 2 here x squared minus 5x minus 6 more than 0. So our a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is negative 6. So a is 1, press 1, then equals, and then negative 5, and then equals, and then negative 6, and then equals. So we'll get, okay, press equals again, we'll get 6, okay, 6. So if it's positive 6 in the calculator, we put negative 6 in the bracket. Then the second one will be negative 1, so here will be plus 1, okay? And then this is a smiley face graph because the A is positive, which is 1. So we draw the horizontal line, okay, which is the X axis. And then we draw the smiley face because the A is positive, okay? So here, the first bracket, when X minus 6 equals 0, so here will be 6, okay? And then when X plus 1 equals 0, here will be negative 1. Okay, so since x minus 6 bracket okay, times with x plus 1 is more than 0, the range of values is found from the parts of the graph that are above the x-axis, which is here and here. Okay, so therefore from the graph, the range of values of x is x less than negative 1 or x more than 6. And this is the answer. Now I'm going to show you the shortcut way to double check your answer using the Casio Classwise calculator. So now let's look at menu and then after that we press right, 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 right until we can see, you see equation, right? We're not going to use this, we're going to use the next one which is B inequality. Okay, if it's more than, less than, then it's inequality. So we go to alpha, okay, and then we go to B. Can you see the B which is next to the negative button? So there's a B here. Okay, press that button, and then polynomial degree is 2, 
Okay, then we refer to the second step, which is x squared minus 5x minus 6 more than 0. So because more than 0, we're going to choose option 1. Okay, press 1. Okay, so now we're going to key in all the values of a, b, and c. So a is 1, so press 1 equals, and then after that b is negative 5, negative 5 equals, and then c is negative 6, so negative 6 equals. Okay, so press equals again. Ta-da! So we get the answer ready. Okay, so the answer is x less than negative 1. Or, okay, this one's 6 less than x, right? We're going to swap them around so we get x more than 6. Uh, it shows that our answer is 100% correct. Method 2 is number line method. Solve the quadratic inequality 2x squared less than 5x plus 7 by using the number line method. So first, I'm going to write down the question here. 2x squared less than 5x plus 7. And then we're going to change it, okay, the 5x plus 7, move it to the left-hand side. So it becomes 2x squared minus 5x minus 7 less than 0. And then we're going to factorize this into two brackets, okay? So it will be 2x here and x because the first term is 2x squared. And then take out your Casio calculator, okay, we're going to factorize it. So press menu and then after that press right, right, right until you can see equation. So press alpha a, a is at the negative button here. And then after that, press 2 because it's polynomial. Okay, so press 2. Then the polynomial degree is 2 because the highest power is 2. And then we're going to sub in the values of a, b, and c. So let's look at step 2. Okay, a is 2, b is negative 5, and c is negative 7. So we're going to key in these three values into our calculator. So 2 equals... Then negative 5 equals, and then negative 7 equals. So we get 7 over 2. So which means that our first bracket is negative 7. Okay, here. Because if it's positive in the calculator, then when we write it out inside, put inside the bracket, it becomes negative. Okay, then the second one will be negative 1. So here will be plus 1. Okay, and then after that, we let... Okay, let 2x minus 7 more than 0. Okay, so x is more than 7 over 2. This is not the final answer yet, okay? And then x plus 1 more than 0. So x is more than negative 1. Okay, so now we can start to draw the number line. Okay, so here will be, okay, there will be two points here. Okay, here will be negative 1 and here will be 7 over 2. Okay, so the first one is x more than 7 over 2. Okay, so which means that you draw a circle here because it's more than, there's, it's not more than or equals to. Okay, so it's just a circle, a hollow circle. More than, go to the right. Okay, and then x more than negative 1. So here, move to the right. Okay. Okay, so here, Let's say, okay, there will be, okay, so you see here, if there is a line, then it will be positive. Here, positive. Okay, so we look column by column, and then here is positive, here no line, right? So negative. And then here, no line, negative, so here no line is negative. Okay, so positive times positive, you get positive. Positive times negative, you get negative. And then negative, negative, you get positive. Okay? So from here, okay, it is found that because uh, the range here, okay, in the second line, is 2x squared minus 5x minus 7 less than 0. So since it's less than 0, the range of values of x is found from the parts of the number line that are negative. Negative. Okay? So from the number line, the range of values of x is x between negative 1 and 7 over 2. And this is the final answer. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to double check your answer. Okay, using the shortcut in Casio Classwiz calculator. You go back to menu. Okay, you see, uh, after the equation, the A, we press right again one more time, we get B in equality. Okay, so we're going to press alpha and then go to B. B is just next to the negative button here. Okay, so polynomial degree is 2. And then here, you see, because the in the step 2, is less than 0. So we're going to choose option 2, okay? Option 2. Okay, so now we're going to key in the values of A, B, and C. So A is 2, then equals, and then B is negative 5, and then equals, and then C is negative 7, equals, okay? Then we press equals again. 
You see? Magic. Okay? So our answer is X is in between negative 1 and 7 over 2. Ta-da! Then this is to make sure that our answer is 100% correct. Method 3 is using the table method. Solve the quadratic inequality x squared minus 9 more than or equal to 0 by using the table method. So first we're going to write down the question x squared minus 9 more than or equal to 0. And then we factorize this into two brackets, more than or equal to 0. So x squared is x and x, 9 is 3 times 3, and then 1 minus and 1 plus. Okay, and then we're going to construct this table. So we're going to write here x minus 3, x plus 3. And then here will be x minus 3 times x plus 3. Okay, then inside here, we're going to write x less than or equals to negative 3. Here will be x between negative 3 and 3. And then here is x more than or equals to 3. Okay, so let's say, okay, we look at the first one, this one, uh, this column. So x is less than or equal to negative 3, we're going to take uh, x, let's say x is equal to negative 4. So we're going to sub negative 4 into here, okay, here. So negative 4 minus 3, we get a negative answer, right? Negative 7 is negative answer, so we're going to put negative here. Okay, so if negative 4, we put inside here, negative 4 plus 3 is equal to negative 1, right? So it's negative, okay? So negative times negative, you get positive. Okay, so now we solve the second one, okay, which is x between negative 3 and 3. So let's say x is equal to 0. So when it's 0, we sub inside here, okay, 0 minus 3 is negative, right? Okay, then if we put 0 here, it's positive. 0 plus 3 is 3, right? So positive. So negative times positive, we get negative. Okay, then the next one x more than or equal to 3, let's say if it's 4, okay? So we're going to put inside the circle here. So 4 minus 3 is 1, which is positive. Then 4 plus 3 is 7, so it's also positive. So positive times positive, we get positive, okay? So from the table, the range of value of x is, okay, so because the question is more than or equal to 0. So we're going to choose the positive answers, okay? Which are this and this. So therefore, the range of values of x is x less than or equals to negative 3 or x more than or equals to 3. So this is the answer. So now we're going to double check our answer using the Casio class Swiss calculator. Go to menu and then press right, right, right until we can see inequality. B inequality. So we're going to press alpha and then B is next to the negative button here. And then polynomial degree is 2 because the highest power is 2. Okay, so let's look at the question. X squared minus 9 more than or equal to 0. So this is option 3. Okay, because it's more than or equals to 0. Okay, so press 3. And then we're going to key in the values. So from the question, our A is 1. Okay, then B is 0. Okay, because there's no middle term which is x, so press 0 equals and then negative 9 is your c. So negative 9 is the c. So equals. Okay, so you see here we get the answer x less than or equals to negative 3. And the second one is 3 less than or equals to x. So we swap them around, we get x more than or equals to 3. And this is the answer. So this is to double check to make sure that your answer is 100% correct. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching until the end and I hope that you will benefit from this video especially on how to use the Casio calculator to get your answers fast and accurate. If you have decided to buy this calculator, I will walk you through on how to buy it from Shopee. First, you click on the Shopee link in the description below using your computer or mobile app. If you're using a computer, you will see this page. The price shown is based on the latest price and it depends on when you click on the link. Sometimes the price can be lower and sometimes can be higher. You also get an exclusive free gift from Casio which may also change from time to time. You also get free shipping whereby the item will be sent directly to your house. Just make sure that you buy from Casio.os which is Casio official store to avoid any counterfeits. Oh yeah! 
Don't forget to use the discount vouchers from Shopee, yeah? Till we meet again in the next video. Bye!